Okay. So today we're opening the mother of all Pokemon boxes. The Super Premium Collection Mew and Mewtwo. Like, I've been so hyped for this thing since it got announced a few months ago. Like, this box is huge. Like, I really don't think we can fit the entire thing properly on our setup. Like, this thing is huge. It is extremely heavy. Probably one of the heaviest Pokemon card things I've ever bought. All so, right. with that said, we're going to open it. Yeah, hold on. I need to read the box first. I need to, to read the box first. This thing is really expensive. $79.95 for a Pokemon product. Yo, shout outs to Barnes & Noble for breaking street date. Explore the world of Pokemon TCG from the earliest days of Pokemon. Mew and Mewtwo have been two of the most celebrated battlers. They're, they're battlers. They call them battlers. Both Pokemon with... I can't even read it because of the sticker strength of will and great raw power. Now they arrive in the never before seen Mew and Mewtwo EX foil cards as co and combined as a unique sculpted figure ready to use blah 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 can't read because of the sticker psychic power as part of the Pokemon TCG super premium collection no, Mew and Mewtwo. No, we opened this, the sticker will not be there. Well, I'm trying to read it through the sticker. Why? So yeah, this thing comes with a lot of things and I need to just let everyone know before buying this is as a warning, it's a choking hazard, and it has small parts, and it's not for children under three. So he gave But this but for but it's at the same time, it's only for ages six and up. So it's not for under three, but you have to be at least six. So you buying this for your kid? Make sure they're you know above age. Yeah yeah. They did a bunch of more text on the other side too. I, I I didn't read the other text. Now you can read it. Alright, let, let, let me read the other box. Ow! Ow! I think you almost broke my fingers with this heavy box. Right, this collection brings together. Okay, alright. I got so big, I gotta pull it up. This collection brings together two Pokemon with a detailed behind the scenes history of Pokemon TCG illustrations. This handsomely illustrated Pokemon trading card game illustration collection features interviews with artists and creators from the early days to the present. Discover the history of some of the wildest illustrations and techniques used to create Pokemon art from Rayquaza to Pikachu with examples, sketches, and interviews. Yeah, I do want to check this art book out. And it tells you all the stuff that comes with it. Train on TM. You have to add that little TM there. All right. What if I put... You have to post it open like this. It's a box like this. I should, I should put trade on in my, in my video, in my title. And Actually, it, and maybe, um, I'll, maybe I'll get sued. Get up. I want to open like this. Okay, yeah. Like, well, uh, well, yeah, this thing is huge. Open it. Yeah, all right. Okay. Get the top off. All right. So, it comes with all kinds of stuff in here. Yeah, we got... Oh, man, this art book is nice. Wait to look inside of here. Right. Can we take everything out of the box first? Yeah, and you got all these storage boxes. Are they empty? Yes, actually, I don't need my storage box because I got these things. All right. Wow, alright, there's a lot of stuff in here. They definitely give you your... Why about we put a storage seven, box on top this Yeah, time? that's actually a good spot for them. They give you your 79.95's worth here. Alright, actually we should... Um, Venusaur is backwards. Alright. So yeah, get a little view of the artworks on the boxes. Um... We're going to get to the art book in a moment. Alright, so... Let's get inside of here. Got our 10 Generations packs. Now, one of my favorite parts about here is the, the promo cards that come with it. Like um, this? Uh, this cardboard dividers 
So this Mew actually is a reprint of the um, the Dragon Exalted and uh, Legendary Treasures of Mew. Um, it, um, it, it, I mean, if you played, you know, the expanded form, you know what it does. It can pretty much copy the attacks of any Pokemon. Um, it was an extremely popular card in uh, Night March last year. Um, and this card is now legal. Uh, can I get a better zoom on you it? You could if you took off the sleeves. I don't have sleeves on it. it don't, wait, what? No, it doesn't. Is, is it just the weird... Okay, here. Okay, yeah, we, we, we gotta get like a you. perfect view of this, this this card. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, yeah, so hold, hold all on. old prints of this Mew are now light. legal in competitive uh, standard play. And there's also this, uh, this really gorgeous Mewtwo. Like, I, I love Mewtwo, and I really like this artwork. I, I've actually been waiting for this this box for quite a while, so to finally get it is cool. Um, all right, let me sleeve these. Yeah, we're we we mentioned another videos. We're in a kind of a cramped yeah. space. Okay, all right, all right. Is our lighting better? Okay, I think we got a better zoom on them now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're still uh, tweaking with our lighting, and we just upgraded our sound, so. Bear with us. Um, okay, let me get the uh, sleeve these, and I will get that art book open. Well, first thing, let me um, let's pull out the figurine in here. It's a cool little figurine. Oh, I thought you were gonna use those as boxes. Huh? I thought you could put your cards in them. Are you? Oh, uh, no, I'm just gonna leave them there for storage. So are you gonna put it in or no? Uh, no, I'm gonna leave them on display. Why would you put these in there? Are they empty? Yes. Yeah, it smells like box. Yeah, it does smell like box. Alright. Oh, these here. And then put the, that there. It's another generations pack hiding. And let, let's, let's get that R book open. Cause, uh, th this R book is the reason this box is so big and i thought it was those cases too yeah that too and i know this was actually like a 30 dollar art book by itself in japan so let's uh let's check this thing out okay. we're not gonna do much reading but we're gonna uh we're gonna skim through it and uh check out some of the, the illustrations in here Oh wow, really pretty pages. Okay. Okay, maybe that's not such a pretty page. But, uh, alright. Hopefully, it's doing the zooming correctly because I can't see. Um, let's see. You yeah, guys got some sketches. And yeah, they, they pretty much just they tell you um the the process that went through of drawing it so this is this is a neat little book for artists um let me show you some of the steps that went through while making the picture and um yeah they actually take you through all the steps of uh of um that process into making the picture it's, yeah it looks like some stuff from the anime and uh, oh wow, they actually give you uh, full art pictures of some cards. So the camera's horrible. Yeah, we need to find our, our good camera and we can use that it's as a- Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere hiding in this house. Just like the 3DS. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Look at that, look how And, and our wallet. Nice. And our, yeah. Wait, 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 go back a little? Man, I thought that was nose pass for a second, but it's not. Uh, no. That, uh, okay, man, that Mew is, uh, that Mew is really pretty. Um, I think, that, no, that's, that's not artwork on a card. That's just, you know, artwork. Um, this video is going to be really long and take this forever. You know, I want to show the artwork. They can skim. They don't want to see the art. They want to get to the packs. They can skip this part. 
This is for people who want to see the art book. But, but, but... But this is a lot of pages. Yes, it oh is a lot of pages. Gorgeous. Yeah, that, that is really pretty. <laughs> the executor, man, I, I swear if I turn this page and that executor's neck gets long, I'll, I'll, I would mark out. I wish. Yeah, this is cute. Hold okay. on a second. Not a bad idea, actually. Now the camera will not go if shit. This is PG program. All right. Oh, can't turn the pages. All right, there we go. Oh, now you can't see. All right. Oh, wow, the old uh, tropical island artwork. This is kind of difficult. You might want to pull the thing back a little. Okay, here. Envy. <laughs> this thing right here. There we go. Better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> right, sure. You know how to view it. You can view um, it later. What's our book? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm, sure, I'm sharing this art book with, with everybody. The whole thing. The whole thing. I'm not gonna read the text or anything. You know, they can go get the book that themselves. Green ninja, like man. That. That's not a green ninja. That is a mug kip. Uh, How can you confuse mug kip with green ninja? Because you, cause, cause you, cause you have it like you know, like this. They can see on the other view. They cannot. Um, the squirtle. Yeah, this is getting dull because of the art book. Oh, well, okay. if, they, if they're bored because of the art book, they can skip. That's, oh that's, that's, that's what the scroll bar on YouTube is for. I wish there's no cut in the middle. Yeah. That, 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 that is a nice picture. Oh my god, look, look, look. <laughs> that's cute. Well, I like that they have a lot of um, full, full pictures of um, old school Pokemon cards in here. The camera view is still bad though. Yeah, I mean it could be better. Should we should we title this video full tour of the art book and then have the next video be like you finally open little packs. <laughs> <laughs> tour of the art book. Yes. I'll I'll just put opening plus tour of the art book because there's there, there's definitely there's definitely a long tour. That yeah. Gengar looks funny. Well, I think it's, uh, some of these arts are from like hard gold packs and like you know generations I I didn't know uh, I wasn't too familiar with. Um, oh, I like this picture a lot. I have to zoom in a little, okay? Okay. Well, so. Yeah, I don't know if this camera is gonna quite do this art book justice. It's not gonna do this art book justice. Let's just say that. Yeah. Cause no, it's just a normal webcam. Yeah. And with the angle we got, the lighting doesn't benefit as much on it, but this is a nice little preview for anyone who's considering picking this up. Like, so far, I, I, I'm i impressed with the quality of the book. Yeah, that might help a little bit. Um, oh, look, the art book quality's get a little better. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's not a wax picture. Oh my god, I want apples now. <laughs> Winkle, apple. I still remember that. You know? Uh, oh my god, that picture is so cute yeah, too. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, I like the Umbreon picture. Oh, that one, that was really good. Cute Pokemon. Pokemon cuteness is shown in many different ways, from their gestures and expressions to the illustrators' own spin on each drawing. <laughs> the ditto, the ditto, um, Bulbasaur. Um. I like that picture. Oh, lots of these pictures are cute. Yeah, it is, they definitely. 
went all out on the cuteness of this book. Totally worth it, right? Yeah, definitely worth it. This book lived up to its hype for sure. Except for that guy. He, he looks kind of like. Look he's at that. Seen, he's seen a way up the Pokemon. He's not Pokemon. He's not worthy to be in this. You get to see his like full full body and his, his like ring on his finger and everything. It's cool to actually see like more of the artwork that are on the cards that you don't actually get to see on the card itself. Where you get to see like the full design of a lot of the pictures. I might have missed a couple of pages because they're so thick. I might have turned it, so my apologies on that. Yeah, you can't you can't see everything. Like there's a Professor Elm getting bit by a um, total doll at the top. Oh my god. Oh wow, the Japanese artwork is on the stuff. The Japanese artwork is so much better. Oh, of course. Japanese artwork is always better. Okay. Rakatanta Tatana and his buddies. This is a Mega Man boss. Um, some of these artworks are nice. Yeah. The so Japanese artwork is so cool. Yeah, like some of those artworks are really nice. Like they, they really knew to it when they released the stuff stateside. Look at that Charizard! Oh yeah, the Charizard is gorgeous. The Xerneas and Yvelta look good too. So, yeah, I think I missed a couple of pages, so... Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's the the Primal Clash artwork, but I know, to but... actually see it in full art form and see the full background is pretty cool. Wow, the Keldeo background's nice. Bing Bell is like northern. They're in the northern hemisphere or something like that. Lucario in the ring. I like Sylveon too. You like everything. Yeah, I like everything in this book. Like, it's, it's, it's really nice little work in here. No. <laughs> Eevee. Now let's get into the boring part. Yeah, is this the boring part? Um, yeah. Let's go a little quick on these. Okay, these are okay. Let's see. There's interviews. interviews. Um, he's going into the old base set stuff. Old school Jigglypuff. Wow, is that like a modern version of the old Jigglypuff? That, that's really cool. Side duck. Oh, so much text now. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, it's, it's probably interesting reads. So. Pushies. <laughs> yeah. Definitely gonna take some time to read this, this book down the line. Gonna make a video of there of like, you know, one page a day. Oh, no, I'm not going to do story time. Oh, come on. Everybody loves bedtime stories. If you guys want bedtime stories like this, you know, please leave a message saying that you want bedtime story. So then we'll do a one page a day of no. your favorite story tell Pokemon story based off this book. No, oh, and it's like a little timeline saying, you know, when so if you came so, out. So if you, want, right. so if you want like a one page a day of this book, of our full read through, you know? No read throughs. Alright, so. Can you okay. put this box back? Alright, yeah, let's put this box back. Oh. Nice. Uh, failing on positioning. Alright, let's put the box back. Right, so, yeah, that was definitely a nice book. And now we're getting to the packs. If anybody actually went through that whole book thing, like I'm, I'm really impressed. Mm -hmm. 
Not really. I mean, going to the path thing is more impressive. Uh, nah. Well, I mean, the book was nice. Try opening the pack in this lining real quick. All right, let's see what we got. I'm curious. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. My battery's running low, so. Hopefully it doesn't hamper the video quality. Hopefully not. Alright. Right. Well, what are you doing? Try opening the pack in this. Okay. And we got a... Yeah. Not so great pack. Okay. Uh, Generations packs have been pretty scummy, you know, as I've mentioned in my other videos. So I only need two more cards to complete the entire set. Could you please? It looked like the line is better like this, is it? Hmm? Hmm? Mm, I don't know. We're gonna have to check the video after. Oh, we got that pretty golem again. <laughs> this golem is so cool. If you haven't seen it, it gets a lot cooler than the golem ex. Um, not not really a good pull, but still cool looking. Still need that 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 Mega Charizard and that Mega Venusaur. I mean, Jolteon EXs are always welcome. Um, Is Jolteon still even worth Another Dug Trio. Um, still like one of the most valuable cards in the set. Man, come on, Generations packs. I quit being scummy. I see something. I see something. Yeah, meow sick. Meow sick. Uh, not. Meow sick. Not the best. Pull. Meow sick. Need a full art. They don't make a full art of this. Meow sick. Need a full art. I said. <laughs> Emphasize on the need. Alright, so that's our first EX. I mean, there's a lot of Radiant Collection EXs. I'm surprised I haven't been pulling as I many. I used to pull like so many of those. Like, I haven't been getting nearly as many as before. Um, maybe they reduced the ratio. Um, yeah, like, I'm just getting Wally and then Gyarados. Oh, come on. <laughs> horrible packs. This thing's kind of cute. But, like, yeah, these packs are these packs are rubbish. Yeah, I think give me a Mega Charizard, I'll, I'll forgive him. Right. Oh, I see something shiny. I see something shiny. It's not Charizard, because it's purple. Ghastly Twins. Oh, it's pink, never mind. Sylveon, the Radiant version, and a Vaporeon. Alright. Okay, so, we got Eevee Twins. This thing's actually really pretty. Eevee! Eevee! Can you make the Eevee sound? Probably not. I don't think my voice can go to that tone. How, how does Eevee sound like again? I can't mimic it. Do it. Try it. No. Try it. If I pull a four, if I pull a Mega Charizard, I'll try it. Only way. You have to make the Charizard sound too, then. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll do the Charizard um critical burst um sound. Mm, I'm not sure what that is. From Pokemon. You also have to do the Machamp pose. Oh, I'm not doing the Machamp pose. All right, we got something. Ooh, gorgeous energy. Um, you have Soul and Venusaur. Okay, I need Mega Venusaur. I don't need this Venusaur. I already have this Venusaur. All right, so let's leave these cards. And we're doing some testing with the lighting, so 
Might get better, might get worse. I'm gonna check our videos over and see what what ends up being the optimal um, optimal setting. Uh, I really like this energy. Alright, so we got three packs left. What? Yes, in the middle. I don't know. Nothing. He's getting blocked by the figure anyway. Nothing too impressive so far. Ah, slaughter pack. Oh, I see something shiny in there. No shiny energy again? Team Flare Grunts. A Flareon and a Butterfree Hollow Rare. Okay. Yeah, I'll flash it towards the light, flash it towards the camera. Yeah, I wanna get more um more of those hollow energies actually. I really do like those. Preferably some water ones. Um okay. Just take the trash off the camera, kinda blocking everything uh all right yeah, polluting the earth man <laughs> this will be recycled <laughs> harming freaking animal protect oh. the animal protect Some, the animal shiny. protect the uh, animal oh, I, I, I already know what it is it is the full art version of the flareon this thing is actually really cute unfortunately i have a lot of them but Definitely a pretty card. Um, let me get a good focus on it. Okay, and a jinx. Jinx! You just jinx yourself. You shouldn't save that word. Jinx. Alright. One more. One more chance to get a Mega Venusaur. Or, you want the last pack? Last pack's mine. Okay. It would be so need a Mega Venusaur, a Mega Charizard, or Flora Jolteon's always welcome. I mean, Jolteon, there's no Flora Jolteon. Mm, I want a Charizard. Mega Charizard. Mega Charizard is useless. But I got a rare instead. Yeah, uh, sick. I got Meowsic instead, though. Yeah. Is that our rare? Is that the rare? No, that's, that's, a, that's the Radiant. Oh, that was rare. Pincer's the rare. Pincer. Oh, we got a Krabby. Mm, 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 mm. No, 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 no. You did to the, the, the Krabby's version. Yeah, I didn't forgot. That. <laughs> so, think, think so, deeper. All right. So, okay, to recap what we got. I mean, obviously, the to me, the packs inside were not the, the main focus of this box. It was more of the... The premium content, uh, which these two cards is what I was really looking forward to the most. Um, and, you know, not the best EXs. We got the Venusaur and this, and we got our Radiance. And we got a Vaporeon. So, the Mega Charizard and the Mega Venusaur still elude us. But, you know, we, I, we still have more packs to open down the line, so hopefully we'll eventually pull them. Um, that'll be it for this video. Um, yeah, we'll be back with plenty more as we still tweak on the video settings and the sound settings to kind of trying to get this down. But, um, yeah, if you actually sat through this whole thing, yeah, congrats. Um, yeah, alright, yeah, we'll be back again tomorrow. Oh, uh, and you want a full tour of the art book, aka one page a day type of deal, one page an hour type of deal? Um, and want us to read no. your bedtime story, aka rewise.